Hello, I'm uh, Mr. Todd and welcome to Mr. Todd's high school geometry class. So for today, uh, for today's example of the Pythagorean's theorem, um, I'm going to use an example about flying aviation. So let's say for today's purposes that I am the pilot for Justin Bieber, the musician Justin Bieber. So it is, uh, it's, it's Monday at four o'clock. So Justin has been been uh, playing a gig last night and then he slept in and uh, and it's about four o'clock and I just got word from uh, from Bieber's manager that there's a charity event going on in Washington DC tonight at eight o'clock he wants to know if I can fly him down there in that time so I checked the weather it looks good um, but I remember from uh, from the last time we flew the plane that the GPS is broken and it's not going to be fixed until uh, for a couple more days. We're waiting on parts. Okay, so I have to calculate this out in my brain or by hand to figure out what time, if we can make it to Washington DC and what time we need to take off if we're going to get there. Okay, so I fly back and forth between Harrisburg, Pennsylvania and Columbus, Ohio a lot. So I know the distance there is about 360 miles or it takes about an hour to fly that. And then um, Washington, D.C. is 100 miles south of Harrisburg. So the first thing I need to do is figure out this distance here. So this, turn, this is a right triangle, right, by the little signature here. So I know A, I know this distance A, I know this distance B, so I need to figure out the hypotenuse C. Okay, so I use the Pythagorean's theorem, which is a squared plus B squared equals C squared. Okay, or C here is equal, equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared. Okay, so A is 360 miles squared plus B 100 miles squared equals, okay, when I square these two numbers, I get uh, A is equal to 129, 600 plus 100 squared is 10,000 so the square root, the sum of those so I take my handy dandy calculator here. So 360 squared plus 10,000 equals 139,600. I'll take the square root of that. So that gives me 373 miles. So that is the distance from Columbus to Washington, D.C. Okay, so I know my plane, my airplane goes 360 miles per hour. Okay, but I, and I need to go, um, I need to go um, 373 miles. Okay, so I divide those two numbers. And I come up with 1.038. Divide those two numbers. Okay, and I need to know, so I know that's an hour, I need to know how many minutes that is. So I, I divide um, that number by 60. Okay, so I come up with, let me make sure I'm doing my math right here. Um, so that's 1.0, wait a minute, 1 plus 0.38 hours. And I know there's 60 minutes, that's what I did wrong there. So, 
So I have to 60 minutes per hour. So I have to times this number by 60. Little mistake there on my part. Okay, so I go 0 0.038 times 60 equals so about uh, two two minutes, two to three minutes. So two minutes. Okay, to fly from Columbus to Washington D.C. it is going to take me one hour and two minutes. Okay, so I have to be there at six. I called down. I called down to uh, Reagan National Airport. They told me, "Hey, the only time we can get you in because Monday afternoon is extremely busy. Everybody flying in and out of the Capitol. I, if I can get in there in a two-minute window, they can land me at Reagan National with Justin Bieber." Okay, so so let's say I so I have a two-minute window here. Let's say I want to hit the front of the window. Okay, so at 5:50. So I bat, So I subtract one hour and two minutes from 5:50. Okay, so I need to take off by 4.48 p.m. Okay, so I'm going to call back Bieber's manager and I'm going to tell him, it's right now 4 o'clock, I'm going to tell him if you can be on the plane, have Bieber and his band ready to go by 4.48 p.m. we can make the gig down there for the charity event in Washington, D.C questions. Okay, thanks.